There is a lot to know about calling turkeys, but what do you need to know to get out there and take your first couple of gobblers? Well, I'm gonna boil it down for you and pour it into a thimble. Hey, this is George back with the New Hunters Guy, the YouTube channel and podcast, helping new hunters get started and bringing new insights to all hunters. Today, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about how do you call turkeys for beginners? Now, there are a lot of turkey calling videos out there on YouTube and a lot of them are really good, but I wanna zero it in today and focus on beginners. People getting out there their first or first couple of seasons, what do you really need to know and be able to do to take a turkey? All right, sky's the limit in terms of how much can you know, how good of a caller can you be, how many different kinds of calls can you use, but I want to talk today about the bare bones, the absolute basics that can get you into the woods and bring you home a bird. Now the first things first, what kind of call should a beginner use? Well, there's a few different options, but today I'm going to talk to you about the box call. This right here, this is what I believe the single best call for for beginners to learn. Reason is anything you learn on this call as a beginner, as a first timer, you can use for the rest of your turkey hunting life. Second, it's really good call, very easy to learn. I'm gonna show you how to take a turkey right now in five minutes or less. And they're relatively inexpensive and you do not need any previous experience. A lot of people say, well, you know, a mouth call is the best call for beginning turkey hunters to learn. That's ridiculous. Shut up, don't listen to that. Mouth calls are one of the hardest calls to learn. And the only way you can use a mouth call well is if you already know how to make turkey sounds and you know what good turkey sounds sound like otherwise you'll never know if the noises that you're making are good noises throw that away you can pick up a mouth call your second or third season if you want that's a great intermediate and advanced call to use but I think this is the absolute best place to start I think it's easier than a pot call and it's more versatile with a lot more volume than a push-pull call a push-pull call is probably a little easier to learn but this, I think, is gonna help you do more to take turkeys for your first couple seasons. And the next couple minutes of investment on your end with a few minutes of practice will be all that you need to get out there for your first hunt. All right, so there's three different calls that are the major calls that you use to take turkeys. The really, one is the most important. If you learn this one call, you can bring home gobblers. I'm gonna show you all three, but we're gonna start with the Yelp. All right. This is the most important call. If you learn this one call right here, this is all you need. Every other one helps. There's other times where the other ones are the better calls to use, but if you can yelp, you can bring home a turkey. So a lot of people, they'll hold a call like this. They'll hold it upside down like this. The simplest way for you to hold it is just flat like this, all right? Then you take your fingers just like this, you put them over top, and what, all we're gonna do is go back and forth, just like this, one way, the other way. We're not gonna put any downward pressure on the call. We're not gonna put any angular pressure on the call. We're just gonna take our fingers like this and go back and forth, just like that, all right? So this is your yelp, okay? All I'm doing is pushing it back and forth. Let me make it even more idiot proof to watch, all right? You see my hand right here? All right, that's all you need to be able to do. That is the simplest. You're gonna do a couple strings of yelps and that can bring in gobblers, all right? So the way you wanna look at this is you're trying to do a string. A string might be four, five, six yelps. There's no rules here. There's no, no way to know for sure. I can tell you that's one time I was in the woods, sitting there listening, I thought, oh man, another turkey hunter has snuck in maybe 50 yards away from me, and I heard this guy calling some of the absolute worst turkey calling I have ever heard in my life. It was horrific. It didn't make any sense. He wasn't following any of the rules, and it literally annoyed me to the point where I was about to get up and walk over and say something to this guy and then a turkey walked out 
It wasn't a terrible turkey hunter. It was a real turkey calling so terribly. And I thought, hmm, nobody ever told that turkey it was really bad at making turkey sounds. Guys, we overcomplicate this. We really do. We overcomplicate this thing. So you're going to do a string. We'll say five or six yelps. And the idea here is you just want slightly different cadence. All right, you, you don't want all six to be the same, just slightly different timing. And then we're working our way to the center. So we're going to start out here. And you hear how it ends in the middle there with that sort of gravelly last note, that just like that. So you don't want to end out here. Although you can, that might bring in a turkey that day, but to give it that variety and that nice little guttural note, you just start out and work your way to the middle. Just like that. All I'm doing is back and forth, just like this with my fingers. Almost can't mess it up. All right, you do that every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes. That's pretty much all you need to do. You can get away with knowing nothing else other than just that, and you can take a turkey. Now, there's a lot more you can learn. There's a lot more to it. You can get much more sophisticated, and you can get better at it. But that's all you need to get into the woods. Now, before we move on to the next one, I need to let you guys know nobody is sponsoring this video, but please support the channel by hitting the thumbs up button or help this video reach more people. And if you like turkey hunting videos, calling, ammo tests, gear, why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe as well. Next call I'm going to show you is the purr. All right. There at least there's a couple different sounds that I call purrs. If you call them something else, good for you. These are the sounds I'm going to show you. So you're going to start out here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab it like this. And I'm not pushing down. I'm pushing over and up, but oh so gently, just like this. And then you got that little one right there, sort of a whiny purr. And then that real light pop. I'm literally, I'm pushing over and then I'm lifting at the last minute. Just that little pop. Turkeys make those sounds all day. Most of the time, hunters never even hear them. You never hear these little subtle sounds unless you work yourself right into a flock of them and they're all around you within 20 yards and they don't know you're there and you can hear them do what they do. Just these little itty bitty pops. Even that's a little too loud, just little, just, and then you got that little whiny. Those are the calls that you do if the birds are close or if you don't know if there's birds around or if you're just trying to vary it up, that's called soft calling. Nice and low, nice and easy. You can do that every few minutes. Turkey's not going to hear it unless they're close, all right? And if they are close, that's what they want to hear. They don't want to hear incessant ongoing yelps. That's not natural to do this all morning. <laughs> To do that every two minutes for a day is completely unnatural. Turkeys are a little more vocal early on, but then not so vocal later. So these little, just that little, just, just pushing it just with the ever so slightest and then lifting. Those little noises there is all you need. Now the third one is the cluck. This is more of a louder, long distance one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the box call and I'm gonna put my thumb right there like this, and I'm gonna give it a tap. And that is a cluck, that goes a long distance. Turkeys often use that as a locator call to signal one or another, I'm over here, hey, where are you at? They use that call for all kinds of different things. But that little cluck right there, Throw out a couple, two or three of those every now and again, every hour or two, or in between your other calls, give you some variety. And if you're gonna put it all together, you give it just a little bit something like this. Just a... That gives you a little more drama, gives you a real excited hen. But guys, you don't need to be able to do that. That's just what you build to. Give it a season or two or three. All you need right now is the yelp. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. A little, little purr, little pop, maybe a cluck every now and again. But 
all you you get out there and you just do a couple yelps that can bring in a turkey for you guys it doesn't have to be any more complicated than that you don't need a real expensive box call this one cost me i think 30 35 dollars at a hunting store out in the middle of the country somewhere custom brand guy there makes some you know the, the, it is not a very high bar you can buy box calls for 100 150 dollars you don't need any of that sure they can be nice they can give you a little nice tone to them but like i told you about the hunter that would actually ended up being a turkey we overcomplicate this get you a decent box call 20 30 dollars get you started out in the woods watch this video a couple times get your box call out practice doing these things this is all you need the next thing you guys should do is check out this video right here where i tested eight different turkey loads or this video right here where i show you my lightweight turkey hunting gear setup thank you so much for watching till next time god bless you guys and go get them in the woods.